Hi, everyone. I'm back with you, and I'm very excited about this afternoon's session. Our next session features two athletes you may recognize if you saw last year's major motion picture, Champions, starring Woody Harrelson. We will see a couple of clips from the movie, and then we will welcome Special Olympians Kevin Iannucci and Brad Edens, along with their champion and my friend Terry Dollar. Hello, I'm so glad to be here. I want to thank you. My name is Terry Dollar, and I want to thank um, the Carolina Hunger Initiative and Lou Ann for having us here today. We're very, very excited to be here. Um, I am Terry Dollar, as I said, and I am the director. I'm actually a talent agent with KU Talent Agency here in the Raleigh area, and I am also the teacher of a group of special needs adults called STAR, and that's S-T-A-R is an acronym for Special Theater Arts Raleigh. I've been doing it for about 15 years, and uh, the, the STAR group has been in existence for over 20 years. And so I have a unique relationship with both Kevin and Brad in that I am their talent agent, but I am also their teacher for the Special Theater Arts Raleigh program. We do a full-fledged production every year. This year, we're working on The Little Mermaid. Uh, Brad is playing Sebastian. I mean, I'm sorry, Kevin is playing Sebastian. <laughs> and Brad, he's in the chorus. He's in the chorus, but he plays everything from a chef to a seagull to a fish of some sort, uh, which we haven't quite figured that out yet. But uh, but uh, so I'm very fortunate that I have these multiple connections to these guys. So the clips that you just saw were from the movie Champions uh, that they filmed a couple of years ago now. And it starred Woody Harrelson. And I want to talk about, in terms of being a champion, I don't know if any of you realize how competitive the acting world is. I, I deal with it on a daily basis, but they literally beat out hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world to get this part. Um and it's not as though this was the first thing that either of them had ever done. They both have been working a long time. They'd been practicing. They'd been in the star shows. They'd done other films. They'd done other things. So they'd been working a long time. But it is super competitive. They literally saw films from all over. And it was so great that two of them came from this area, too, which I thought, wow, that's amazing. So <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I heard they were both cast. It was just incredible. And the fact that they knew each other, they were in the same drama class, that was incredible. So I, I want to talk to you about how that these beautiful guys are champions. And I adore both of them. They're like family to me. But somebody said to me one time that a winner is all about statistics. You know, I this, I'm the best shooter. I'm the best whatever. But a champion, a true champion is not only a winner, he is a winner, but he is also someone who inspires other people. He is also somebody who's constantly working as hard as he can to make himself better at this thing that he is good at and that he's a winner already. But that's what makes a champion. And these two young men are true examples of champions in the way that they inspire. Um, hang on one second. Oh, so. Hang on, I have one more thing to say. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to say that uh, when you when you see the work ethic that the two of them bring to plays and to the film that they did, you will see how hard that they work. One of my actors in my star class told me once that he practiced his lines 40 times a day, 40 times a day. And, you know, the, the saying that practice makes perfect is one thing, but to also just to know how hard that they worked to achieve what they achieve is just very admirable. So I'm going to stop talking for a moment. And Kevin has something he'd like to say. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin, and I'm the star of the world of Johnny and the Movie Champions, which you all seen. Mm -hmm. Now, here I go. So, hello, my name is Kevin Iannucci. I was born and raised in Raleigh, North Carolina. I am 29 years old. I'm about to turn 30 this year. It's crazy. When I was born, one pediatrician stated that there was only one person in this room that will reach their full potential. My dad said that she was speaking about me. So, growing up, I now felt that I was different because my family and friends treated me like everyone else. 
my two other siblings, including me as much as possible, when they put on their little short films for me and most of us characters at once, and I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. My mom made sure so I received early intervention to help me, and by the time I started preschool, I knew how to use sign language. Mm. Until I learned how to talk more. I haven't stopped talking since then. Literally. Mm. I attended Wake Tech Community College Public Schools and graduated from Miller High Occupational Course of Study. That was a lot to say. Mm. With a diploma in 2013. After high school, I attended Wake Tech Community College and received a certificate in hospitality. Wow. Mm. I have been involved with, with Wake County Special Olympics since the age of eight and recently became a global messenger for Special Olympics, North Carolina. Mm. This how I first met Brad Edens. We were on 3v3 basketball team years ago. My true passion is acting. I started acting at an early age when my older sibling Drew would use me in their short film, sometimes as multiple characters. I also love watching TV shows and imagine myself being a part of them. Um, I, when I was in high school, I joined an inclusive theater group where we would create the story through improv games. I found out that I was able to memorize lines easily. Mm. And I love the spotlight. The director cast me as the lead in all six plays that we performed. I became a part of Star... In 2018, when Terry, Brad, and many other friends I knew through were Special Olympics. Although I enjoy theater, I dreamed of being in the movies or on TV. This dream became a reality when I was cast as Larry Ellis in The Best of Enemies, working on the set only for the Maya file. Mm. My second role was as Patrick in Embattled. My most recent role was as Johnny in the movie Champions. It's my biggest role to date. And I just got back from L.A. that I did a short film called All in All, Robbie and Rachel. Mm hmm Yeah. I can't wait for that to come to come out and see it. Mm. And I worked a lot alongside big name actors like... Um, Woody Harrison, Keelan Olsen, Sam Walker, and Twazi P. Hansen. Mm -hmm. And also even another big name, um, Anne Hess, but sadly she passed. Yes. I have been told that I'm a natural born actor and that I have the acting chops. However, I have worked hard on my craft by taking many classes. Mm -hmm. I have had help over the years from teachers, classmates, my family, and now some awesome Hollywood friends. Mm. Through my acting, I have made friends with the cast and crew. I love having special friends, and I cherish every single one of them. Friendships are key to have, and they are so important to me. And thank you for having me here today. Oh, he doesn't need it. <laughs> so we're going to ask these guys just a few questions. So uh, if you'll just bear with us. So um, what was a highlight for you, Brad, of being uh, in the movie Champions? Can you, yeah, use your mic. Yeah, it's fine. Just just talk into it. It's already fixed. Yeah. Just talk into it. I played basketball in um, and, uh, so was she did uh, that's right he, got, he did play a lot of basketball <laughs> we're going to talk about that in just a minute okay kevin what was the highlight for you the highlight for me was definitely playing the big world johnny and that was the most biggest i i ever done 
Yep. Which one's truly amazing because I got to walk with Caitlin and Rudy. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the movie, it's streaming. You can watch it now. I'm, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think so too. So you guys have both participated in Special Olympics. So tell me the sports that you've participated in, Brad. Uh, I play basketball. Okay. Yep. And what else? You, else you play? I play bocce and bowling. Bocce and bowling. Yeah. What What about you? And I do swimming. Um, I know basketball because I, I did a five on five as well. No bocce ball for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and soccer too. Soccer. Ah, yeah. Bocce ball would be my my style. Um, so think about this for a second and tell me who is a champion in your real life? Who's a champion in your real life, Brad? Oh, brother. Your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Brad and his brother have a unique, wonderful relationship. I can speak to that. Yeah. You really love your brother, don't you? Yeah, you love your nephews too. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. What about you, Kevin? So this is could be a, a really big one for me, for sure, definitely. Okay. <laughs> because if I think about it, that my sibling sister Drew has not only cast me in, in their short films, but had helped me because with all this natural talent I have, it was like on screen, being on camera. <laughs> Humble too. <laughs> and... Drew was a really big help, and even my family as well, between my mom and my father, and they have been my biggest support system, and I can't really thank them enough for doing this for me. Yeah, I yeah, I vouch for that 100%. One of the things that I uh, tell people honestly about working with the star class is that I, I didn't expect, I expected to work with these great actors, and I knew that would be rewarding, but the parents of uh, the kids, I think I keep saying kids, that's because I'm old enough to be their mothers, but um, of the people in this class, um, they are, the parents are like diesel, if you know what I mean. They are, I've never seen the commitment and just how they are, they're amazing with these kids. And and I've come to, I've come to love them as much as I love the star, star students. I love the parents just as much. And if I'm going to slay a dragon in this world, I'm bringing them with me. So um, let's see. Did I have any more questions for you? Oh, what do you think it takes to be a champion today? What what qualities does it take to be a champion today? What do you think, Brad? I like Woody. Yeah, to be like Woody. <laughs> Tell me, what about Woody was like a champion? What did you like? He's funny, Joe. <laughs> He's funny. And supportive. <laughs> he is funny. He is funny. What do you think, Kevin? Say that, say that one more time. Just tell me, what does it take to be a champion? I think what it takes to be a champion is don't give up. Call this everything that you need to do. And I just want my story to be told. Yeah. 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 Great. Great. All right. Uh, we have another clip to show you. But before we show you this clip, Brad, can you show us a little bit of the celebration dance that you do? <laughs> You'll see this in the clip. Here, you want me to hold your? Oh, okay, you got, you got it. <laughs> okay, mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay. That was him. He made it. Insider information, you guys. Brad, how many times did you actually, this is that half court over your head throwing it. How many times did you actually make that shot? Twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. He actually made that shot twice. And I think that I have heard from his mom, he, they had to like, cause they didn't, he's the, the, in the movie, he can never do it. He can never do it. And he does it at the last minute. And that's part of the whole thing. I just gave away the movie, but in any case, um, he can never do it, but they had to like tell him not to. I mean, he came close a few other times and they were like, don't No, we want you to miss it. So, <laughs> but thank you so much for having us. Thank you.